XYZ company incurred manufacturing costs of 200,000 currency units to produce 10,000 printers. XYZ management would like to know the budgeted manufacturing costs to produce 20,000 printers. Someone might say, let's divide the actual manufacturing cost currency units by the number of printers produced to get the unit cost per printer, then multiply it by the target production level to get the budgeted manufacturing costs. Unfortunately, that is totally incorrect, because manufacturing costs include variable and fixed components, and the calculated unit cost here ignored the fact that fixed costs remain constant regardless of the change in the production level. So let us look at the total costs. This schedule shows the total fixed costs, total variable costs, and total costs at different levels of production. The fixed costs are constant for the different production levels, and the variable costs increase proportionally with the increase in the production. This is the current level of production. And that is the target level of production with a total manufacturing cost of 320,000 currency units, and not the overstated cost of 400,000 as calculated at the beginning of the video. So, you should be careful when using unit cost figures. This is the variable cost per unit. And the fixed cost per unit. And the total cost per unit. The total variable costs change proportionately with the changes in the production level, and that is why the variable cost per unit remains constant. The total fixed costs remain constant at different production levels, and that is why the fixed cost per unit decreases with the increase in the production level. And therefore, the total manufacturing cost per unit won't be the same at different production levels. The total cost per unit at the current production level is 20, but it is only 16 at the target production level, and not the 20 that was used initially in the calculation.